Hey folks, this is IOE throwing back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Ronak. He is playing in the Fosh. The beautiful, beautiful tank. Uh, this is a 4 on auto loader now. It didn't used to be, but it is now. Um, and he is platooned up with Seth in the M103. My one of my most hated tanks ever. And one of Seth's most favorites, so. That should be a lot of fun. This is a tier 10 game on uh, Live Oaks, if I didn't mention that before, which I might have. I'm a little bit out of practice as I haven't done this in a little while uh, before yesterday. And that's just due to life being life, and I'm sorry for that. There's also been some health issues going on. Nothing that needs to worry anybody, but it's freaked me right the crap out. <laughs> so, that's the most swearing I'm going to do in this uh video and we're just gonna get right into it so um, mr. light tank I know you think you're perfectly safe but because of the fact that you managed to get yourself lit coming down there you is so dead um, which is why you want to make sure if you're gonna go for that rush as a light tank which is like my favorite rush to do you need to make sure you're completely invisible doing it because if you get spotted, you were so dead. Uh, there is no cover where that guy died. And there isn't a way to get out of it. There isn't anything. Um, and once our spotter disappears, who is the bat chat, this is a good time for our reload. I don't know if Ronak's going to do that. I'm thinking he, he's looking for the spot from this EBR. But um, at this point in time, we don't have any real lights ahead of us, any real vision. And Ronak actually hasn't done anything for a little while, so it's possible he's just AFK. Um, and I'm just going to have to, like, commentate the rest of this game as, as a passive view, as Ronak wins through not being at the keyboard. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure at this point in time he is AFK. Oh, no, wait. I saw that move. He moved! He is back. I don't know what he had to do. I'm certain he'll tell us in the comments if he was in fact AFK. I have no doubt he was. Um, I just can't figure out what he was doing. It was more important than a game of tanks. Obviously, real life should be put aside so that you can... Wait, didn't I put this aside for real life? Hmm. Maybe that's not the best example. <laughs> Anyways, as Ronak gets back into it. Now, I obviously know somebody's here. I'm going to assume they're shooting it over there. As Rodnick hasn't been lit yet, you make sure he was back far enough behind the bushes to not get lit last time he fired. It would be nice if he had two shell, or, you know, the extra two more shells, which is why he's reloading right now. Also, he has no targets, and he's not going to get any for a little bit of time. He has, in fact, got a line of sight on Seth, so somebody rams him. We got a shot, but until somebody actually comes up that close or pushes through the side of the map, this is going to be a problem. Oh, hi. I mean, if you're just going to sit side on to us, Mr. Progetto, then we're just going to go ahead and take away some of that health of yours. Actually, all of that health, because why not? As, oh, Seth just get hit for something big. I assume that was either the Death Star or maybe both Conways him at the same time or something like that. But, um, oh yeah, I mean, you know, T10, if you're just going to rock back and forth, giving us that full side view, I mean, that's that's what happens. You never sit in one place if you don't have to, and especially just rock, rocking back and forth in front of an opening. What would you expect to happen? Ronak goes ahead and reloads his entire clip up after firing it all. I mean, every shot did damage, so I'm pretty sure every shot so far has done damage. With the exception of maybe one that I don't remember. Oh, are we gonna reload in time? We are! One shell, two shells away, and that's a dead 183. Um, now there's a possibility of shooting at Conway. Those last spot here, we got a bat chat on the way. That guy's probably gonna either light up really quickly or not be there. I don't know. Looks like there's a bat chat doing with our bat chat. Now let's not miss. Because if we miss, we take out our own bat chat. Or we would have if he hadn't been taken out by the bat chat that we were not shooting at. Renek's going to have to roll forward here to get this guy back in render range so he can actually take this beautiful shot and hit this poor guy in the side. Unfortunately, not blowing his tracks off, so we didn't get any of that tracking damage. 
but we still got a shot into a bad chat, which will take every day of the week. And, you know, twice on Sundays. Oh, wait, this is Sunday. We didn't get to shoot twice. Ah, uh, I remember now why I did this. And I'm, I've missed this so much the last few weeks. But unfortunately, it's just not been a thing. Um, so yeah. It's, it's all... It'll be fine. I'm, I'm sure I can get back into the swing of things. I definitely got enough games saved up that I don't have to ask for any for a while. Um, and with 1.6 just coming out... Er, we just starting the 1.6 games. Um, it'll be a while before we run out of those. I'm, I'm glad my brain still works. And, you know, that I'm not trying to, like, make money by talking or something like that with a disconnect between my brain and my mouth. Because that would go badly. Hey, look, we got spotted for the first time all game. Suddenly there's a fosh in the middle of the map and people are now freaking out. This E4 is like, uh, this is not where I want to be. Yeah, he's right about that. He definitely doesn't want to be side on to us as he bounces his shot. We get two into him, we're going to a third into him, and possibly a fourth. I mean, he's not going to move, then I guess we're just going to take it. Uh, he really needed to be spinning his armor as much towards us as possible. I understand he was trying to duck behind the building to get away from uh, friendly artillery and everything else, but uh, <laughs> that was not the way to survive a Fosh attack. As we just walked up and pulled the trigger repeatedly right into his side. That poor guy had no way of, of defending himself from the first two shots. Well, I guess the first shot he had no way to defend himself. After that, he should have rotated his armor, but he didn't. <laughs> and the second and third shot, or the third or fourth shots, he just sat there and took it. Even the second shot was really just like him de factoing out of that, that particular conversation. Uh, we're going to speed this up as Ronick runs across the field. He's got to go all the way back to the K4-ish area to try and defend against the push that he knows is coming. Even if the rest of his team haven't quite caught on to that fact yet. Ronick expects there to be an M46 patent as he runs this corner. He does not see it, which is good. Or bad. I mean, if, if it's in some weird spot, that's unfortunate. But I'm pretty sure we would have spotted it if it was right where Ronick was thinking it was going to be. Um, or I was thinking it was going to be anyway. Ronick, I assume, is thinking something different. Because Ronick is always about four steps ahead of your average player. The, the really amazing players always are. And he's going to sit in this bush and he's going to wait here with his gun poking out the other side of the bush. Thankfully, that when world tanks, this is not an issue. The fact that you can't see this tank is great, but but th 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 there's a whole gun sticking through. But nobody sees that. Because this is World Tanks and not reality. Oh, and Rock seems to be looking behind him, trying to figure out how his allies are set up. Oh, there's the object 140 sneaking up, and we're not going to have a shot on him. And we don't actually expose ourselves to the M46 because he doesn't show up yet. It's possible he is tailing in behind the object and he's going to show up over here which I think is what Ronick is thinking is going to happen uh, and to make sure that isn't a possibility or is a possibility Ronick is going to push for it right now um, because if this M46 is over here more than likely he's alone and if he's alone then we can empty an entire clip into him without him doing too much in return now of course if, if it turns out that he has more health than our entire clip, like, you know, if he's completely undamaged um, and one of these shells bounces or something like that, then this could be an issue. But other than that, Ronick will have him dead to rights, assuming we can jump on him without him realizing we're here, which is really the, the optimal way to jump on somebody. I mean, if you're trying to, you know, like, murder their face off or something. And yes, I can say that, because I don't care about monetization on YouTube. It's never been a, a concern of mine. So I can say everything I want to, though I won't because I still try to keep this family friendly. Which is a funny line to walk on. Anyways, ooh, look, a Conway who doesn't... How did 
you bounce off of Conway? That's 257 penetration. Now I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure there isn't a single part on Conway that has more than 100 armor. <laughs> Seriously? All you had to do was not bounce off the Conway with one shell, and you would have had him dead to rights. But no! Now you're going to have to get saved by the STRV, because otherwise this guy's going to murder your face. Well, I guess our trailer can come along and save your day, too. But, um, you bounced the one shell. That one bounce cost you 500 health. Don't do it again. <laughs> Can't believe that. I was just talking about that. But, I mean, I didn't think it was a thing with the, the Conway. Apparently, I should have thought it was a thing with the Conway. Now that Conway is far enough away, he probably can't see us with our ability to stay in cover. And that is kill is going to take him out. Popping up over the ridge line, was looking for a shot on the pad and not going to get it. As the, the uh, artillery finishes him off and, and the STRV gave him real beating. We're going to speed this forward because it's only the batch of artillery left. Oh, and I was going to say, there's no way he's still sitting back there. But apparently, yeah, he was still sitting back there. Uh, personally, if I was him, I would have moved a long time ago to somewhere more secure than right in the middle of the open. But apparently, I... Yeah, there's there's a reason that I'm not him, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yeah. That is going to be that. We're going to jump over to his battle reports or whatever and see how well he did. That. Is his first mark of excellence. Yeah. Also, you got the Master Ace Tanker, Bruiser Fighter, Fire for Effect, High Caliber, and Tank Sniper Awards. Yes. 52,000 credits earned. 3,000 experience. Ooh. I'm pretty sure yesterday's 8,000 experience was a double or something. You know, a, an event. I'm pretty sure this is just straight up 3,000 experience. Oh, it's his first game of the day. But still. <laughs> wow, right? Well done, sir. Wait. The premium and the non-premium are exactly the same. I'm going to assume that's a bug. <laughs> 1,300 base experience. Ooh, yeah. And 7,000 damage. Um, yeah, with barely any returned, that was well done. Ooh, look, even he got something. He kind of got, ah, he got shot a ton. That's what he got. <laughs> well done. With only the one shell not uh, hitting. Oh, I mean, one shell bouncing? Yeah, I think he deserved that tank sniper award, don't you? That was well done. Thank you so much, Ron, for saying this. And thank you to everybody who submitted and whatnot. I will get to most of your games over the coming weeks. But for now, these this is the end of this. If you guys want to see more of me, join me over on Twitch as I stream pretty regularly during the week. Thank you all. Have a great night. This IOE throughout.